after a group of would-be criminals kidnap the 12-year-old ballerina daughter of a powerful underworld figure, all they have to do to collect a $50 million ransom is to watch the girl overnight. In an isolated mansion, the captors start to dwindle one by one, and they discover to their mounting horror that they're locked up inside with no normal little girl. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel, I hope you all are doing amazing as always, and it is me Joe as always, and today I want to talk about Abigail, a horror movie from this year that I think is gonna become a cult classic in the next few years basically. This movie is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was directed by uh, the Radio Silence team, you know, those are the guys behind Ready or Not and Scream 5 and also Scream 6. And, you know, uh, I was just so excited to see this movie back when it came out and, my god, this movie was so freaking good. Uh, honestly, this is sort of their, you know, uh, they sort of went back to something like Ready or Not, which was basically their first feature film. Ready or not, you know, very similar concept, you know, like a group of people being locked up in a mansion, basically. Not locked up, but, you know, a group of people in a mansion, basically. And this movie, Abigail, sort of a similar concept where, you know, a group of, like, would-be criminals, they basically kidnap, uh, you know, basically a daughter of Dracula, basically. That's what the movie is about, and they don't know that, you know, this little girl is a vampire, right? They think that this is basically, you know, just an ordinary girl. They're gonna get, like, 50 million dollars, and they're gonna be... Uh, you know, happy and, you know, they will split the money and whatnot, but no, uh, the girl, the little girl is actually a vampire, she's been around uh, for hundreds of years, basically, and uh, she starts killing them one by one, and honestly, this movie is so much fun. First of all, the kills are really brutal, they are gory, bloody, and they just look cool. Uh, that's like the first thing that I want to mention. I also want to mention that there's like a lot of humor in this movie, uh, which is also absolutely awesome. I love horror movies that, you know, also, you know, are funny, you know, that are not just pure serious. And, you know, this movie is sometimes very funny. And, you know, that's an aspect of this movie that I really enjoyed is that, you know, how funny this movie can get which is pretty awesome. Also, the action and the chase sequences in this movie are, again, really, really awesome. You know, Abigail, you know, uh, as you may know, she's also a ballerina, which means she also has some moves. And, you know, some of the stuff that's in the movie in terms of, like, choreography uh, and, you know, the dancing and stuff like that and the way she kills some people in the movie... It's so brutal, it's so well done, and it looks incredibly cool. Uh, my god, it, it, it's just so freaking awesome. Uh, also, the cast is, like, really good, and everybody in this movie is really good, you know, including, uh, obviously, the main star, Melissa Barrera, which, you know, obviously, Radio Silence team, uh, they know her for, you know, a long time now, uh, you know, she obviously worked with them on Scream 5 and Scream 6, uh, but, you know, al you also got Catherine Newton in this, uh, you know, you also got Angus Cloud, R.I.P. in this, uh, yeah, like, so many great actors in this. You also got Giancarlo Esposito here. You know, some of you may know him from Breaking Bad, but my god, he's so good in this movie. And obviously he's, uh, you know, the main guy that, you know, should uh, give them uh, the money, right? He's like the main powerful underworld figure in this movie. Now, this movie is just under two hours, and it is just so well-paced. The kills are awesome, they are brutal. The choreography of Abigail is just so nice and just so cool, and just, you know, seeing her kill all these people is just so much fun. Also, uh, the dynamic between uh, the, 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 the kidnappers is just so freaking cool, and just some of the dialogue here and there is just so great. Yeah, like, this is overall just su such a fun movie, such a fun movie, such a fun watch, and, you know, I, I definitely recommend watching Abigail if you want to see some, you know, good vampire uh, versus people 
movie, you know? Uh, and also, obviously, the main great thing about this movie is the fact that we're not getting as much uh, or as many uh, vampire movies as, you know, we were used to getting. You know, back in the early 2000s, right? A lot of vampire movies, a lot of vampire horror was coming out. Nowadays, you, you know, that there's not much really, there's not much of this stuff anymore. Uh, coming out. So I am really glad that Abigail came out this year. It is definitely a movie that's again worth the watch Absolutely brutal absolutely exciting and you know su such a fun such a fun movie uh, Also shout out to the actress that portrayed Abigail uh, You know uh, wait, let me just Yeah, uh, Alicia Weir as Abigail. Oh my my mic just fell down uh, Alicia Weir as Abigail Really good. She was so good in the movie, honestly. Again, so many great actors uh, in, in this movie. Melissa Berta was fantastic. Catherine Newton was fantastic. Angus Cloud, fantastic. And, you know, then Giancarlo Esposito was also just fantastic. He's mainly in the movie towards the end, but, you know, he's so good when he's, you know, when he's on screen. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. I believe that this movie is gonna become a classic in the next few years because my god, it is such it is such a fun movie, you know, and it is such a great watch. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.